you are doing your skincare routine and you don't have a sunscreen it's like building a house and you don't have a roof Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do and click on this vlog. This vlog is about my updated skincare routine and I asked a few questions on Instagram about what you want me to answer related to skincare mostly. Um, uh, some people asked um, questions about my fitness journey and yeah, this video is about, it's going to be about skincare and answering questions. So without taking too much time just go and wash it okay hi guys i'm back i just finished showering and um, i'm going to do my skincare routine and by doing that let's start answering these questions the first question was like share your skincare routine please always on your story checking preps oh that's so sweet of you thank you so much and yeah let's start with the skincare routine i always start with my hydrating facial cleanser i've been using this since the beginning of my journey and all i can say is like it's really worth it it's really hydrating it has a um, beautiful ingredients it has like ceramide it has hyaluronic acid like it is pretty good so what i do i just wait my skin put small water on my face and make it start working and I wash my face for like this for like um, a minute focusing on the places that we always forget that just um, on your chin, side of your nose, on your jawline yeah. so washing my face I use this paper towel to dry it Normally, I let my face dry itself, like I air dry, but when I'm in a hurry, especially when I'm recording or when I'm rushing, I use these paper towels. It's better than normal towel because those ones, they just keep uh, bacteria and make you break out a lot more. So, moving on with skincare, um, the next step is this vitamin C. And I have a lot of things to say about this vitamin C. Like, it's a game changer ever since I started using it. Like, I've seen results that I've never seen in any other vitamin C I've ever used. And um, I would say it's a bit pricey compared to the other vitamin C I've been using, but it's worth it. It's really worth it. Like, I used it for like um, two to three weeks. And this is my result, all these pictures I took, the videos, this is how my face is looking so brighter, there's no dark spots, there's no discoloration. I really, really, really love it. It's very small. I've gone through like <laughs> four bottles now, but yeah, I really love it. So what I do, I just pump it in tight and put like um, three drops to three. It's not, uh, you don't have to do much and then I just press it on my face like there all over my my face on my neck you guys don't forget your necks because you don't want to have a, a smooth face with the cranked up textured neck so moving on to um another question why we keep on doing our skincare routine um the second question was like could you please tell us all the products you used and how long did it take to see results? Um, I would recommend to go and watch my other skincare video that I uploaded quite a while. All your questions will be answered there because I show I, I talked about what I used, what did not work for me, what worked for me. And uh, for how long it took, I'd say for this clear face and everything it took like almost a year and a half to have this face and everything so you gotta work on your patience guys work on your patience consistency that's the key to have a healthy skin yeah. um moving on to another question while i apply my eye cream 
I really love this eye cream really because um, it has all the ingredients that really brightens up your, your skin like a tranex oh god tranexamic acid and glycothione these are the ingredients that you will need when you want to um, brighten your skin so I really love it is from Mary and May apart from it being so hydrating the ingredients are amazing so another question is um, does the product you use works for a sensitive skin too yes the product I use are sensitive skin safe so if you want to use something that I'm using and you have a sensitive skin you can go ahead and use them they are sensitive skin safe uh, another question is Niihe dry sensitive skin face routine na kurikiza kumunu uri kigari. What do you know about Kojic Sun Soap? Um, dry sensitive skin, you can the routine that you can follow is what I'm using really because my skin is not dry, but I use products for normal to dry skin. So I think everything I'm using is really safe for dry and um sensitive skin unless your skin is super dry like you might opt for more hydrating um, products about you being in Kigali I really don't know where you can buy the products but I've seen a lot of my friends there have their own products and there are a lot of shops right now that you can just ask around you will um, you find a place where you can buy your products and about Kojic Sun, so Kojic is really is a really nice, good ingredient for um, um, clearing the dark spot or hyperpigmentation. And I think it all depends on how you use it. If you use it well, it really works very good. But if you don't use it well, it can irritate your skin. So be careful when you start using it, or just consult a dermatologist, and then they will guide you how you can use it in a safe way. So I'm um, moving on. After applying my eye cream, I go on with this essence. Like this is a staple in my skincare. Like it hydrates my skin, it plumps it, it makes it look more brighter. Like I really cannot do my skincare without it. Another step. Is it another step? It's not another step. Like another product that I've included in my skincare routine is this um, Cosrx Propolis Synergy Toner. It's a hydrating toner as always. Like I don't use exfoliant toners because I already have exfoliant. So I always opt for hydrating toners to make my skin plump, like hydrated and all that. But you know, I live in a very hot weather so i don't use it during the day really i always use it at night so this is the time where i put it on after using the essence so yeah this is another um another nice hydrating toner so moving to another question is how can you know your skin type to avoid the use of wrong products nice question the first thing first when you start your skincare routine you have to know your um your skin type and to know the easiest way you can know your skin type if you've tried it and it didn't work then that's your sign to go to see a dermatologist to do a proper taste and know and let you know which one so actually i'm using this a uh, moisturizer is cosrx hyaluronic intensive cream that's what i use every day morning and night so um what you would do you just wash your face at home and then let your skin air dry like don't dry it with towel or any paper towel let it dry air dry itself and then wait for like 30 to an hour if your skin is dry like it's squeaky dry like it's flaky that means you have dry skin and if your skin, I mean your face is oily all over, like you have oil on your face and you have not applied anything else that will tell you that you have oily skin. And then if your skin, I mean if your face, ha you have the T-zone is oily, that's your forehead, your nose and your chin or maybe the side of your nose. If it's oily, that means you have combination skin. So T-zone, forehead, nose, chin is oily and your cheeks are dry 
that's a combination skin and when you feel like nothing changes your skin is not dry your skin is not oily your skin like it's nothing like it feels normal that means you have a normal skin uh, moving on to another question is i have tried different skincare products but skin does doesn't look good any advice well this um these questions i think i've just answered answered it with this um knowing your skin type you might be using things that you don't need like things that are not for your skin do you understand you might be using products maybe because of it's trending maybe you've seen one of your friend have told you oh i'll use this it worked for me oh yes, you don't let anybody tell you i use this one and it worked for me even when i'm talking like this do not listen to me always do your research consult your dermatologist like do what works for you the products you are using are for your skin type and make sure the products you are using are targeting your concerns yeah that's all i can say about it and question number seven i want to start a skincare routine can you help me i think i just answered this again in this whole skincare um starting like you want to start thinking if you want okay let me just answer it straight up if you want to start a skincare routine first thing first know your skin type i just said how you can know your skin type skin second of all have your basics first thing first and the basics i'm talking about the basics are cleanser moisturizer and sunscreen that is your basics if your basics are not for you anything else you are doing will never work have your cleanser, your moisturizer, your sunscreen, and then whatever you add on will depend on what you want. If your skin is not, is dehydrated, you might want to add hydrating products. If your skin is uh, dull, it's, um, it has texture, you might want to add exfoliants that will clear up your skin. If your skin is a bit dark and everything, you might want to add vitamin C. So yeah, that's what I can say about you want to start a skincare routine um the last step of my skincare routine is sunscreen of course as always um i use this body sands i've been using it i've been using this one i've been using the other one with yellow package and it all works well for me but the yellow package one tends to sting my eye sometimes so this one be working amazing so just want to make sure i wrap this up moving on is um another question is what is recommendation for someone who has narcos dark spot things narcos dark spots um um it can be caused by different things first thing first when we are black like melanin pe uh, people like it is really not easy to find your skin even like your skin will never be even from head to toe sometimes you find places that are more darker than the other places for example your knuckles your toes your elbows your knees sometimes they are darker than your body so that that would be the first thing that might be the cause of your dark knuckles the second thing is maybe you are using um bleaching lotion or bleaching products if that's the case then you might need to stop using those bleaching products and then your knuckles will come back to its normal color um another question is would you share a skincare routine to fade dark spots a skincare to fade dark spots um another question about dark spots what can i help what can you help with dark spots for someone with oily skin um yeah this one's like a, they seem the same so I'll answer it all at once. Um, I'm checking if there's another question about uh, um, dark spots. So those are the two questions about dark spots. When you have dark spots or hyperpigmentation, um, the first thing you have to do is, um, if your basics are in place, your cleanser, your moisturizer, and your sunscreen, you have to to incorporate a method called cheap i've learned it from uh, one kenyan dermatologist and she stays she sells um online products too i already use it but she explains it more and i really 
understood it and I want to share it with you. The CHIP method stands for CHIP. The C stands for chemi you need chemical exfoliants, you need the hydrators, and you need inhibitors, and then you need protection. Protect, that's four. First thing with the chemical exfoliants, there are two types of exfoliants. There are chemical exfoliants and there's a physical exfoliants. Like physical exfoliants are those scrubs with salt, with sugar, with coffee, those ones that you rub on your skin, but I don't really like it because sometimes they can tear your skin and then it will cause more breakouts. I would just recommend the chemical exfoliants. So the chemical exfoliants, we have two types. There's HAs and then there's a B. BHA, beta hydroxy acid and uh, alpha hydroxy acid. So an example of uh, BHA is like salicylic acid and this one is oil soluble and it's, it, it penetrates the pores, like it, it unclogs the pores, all those things you have, like if your concern is like white head, black heads, all those things that are inside your pores, this is the the exfoliant that we like you have to go for and then and the uh, HAAs are um, like salicylic I mean glycolic acid lactic acid mandelic acid and these are um, like water soluble and they work for like rough texture and dark spots so since you're asking for about dark spots and hyperpigmentation you go for glycolic acid mandelic acid and the lactic acid these ones works for all those kind of thing and then we are coming for hydrator so hydration there's a lot of thing there's a lot of hydration hydrating products out there in, on the market we have a um, hyaluronic acid we have essence name we we have plenty of hydrating products so you buy what you can afford and what will work for you and then inhibitor is like those products that will um that will just stop the overproduction of melanin but they will not bleach you so in those products we have a azelaic acid we have tranexamic acid all those things like niacinamide yes you have to include those ones too in your routine so it will stop the production of uh, your melanin and then last but not least and which is the most important thing is protection which is sunscreen if you are doing your skincare routine and you don't have a sunscreen it's like building a house and you don't have a roof like you don't put a roof like all you're doing is nothing because most of hyperpigmentation that we get or all those dark spots are cause of sun exposure so make sure that you're protecting yourself after that and yeah that's the routine if you have those things in place you are good to go in no time if you've been patient you've been consistent you're washing your face morning and night not forgetting a day not skipping in no time depending depends on the severity of your your dark spots they will fade eventually yeah um the next question is hi babes how to address hyperpigmentation around the mouth area um hyperpigmentation around the mouth area sometimes it's caused by sun exposure like if you are exposed to the sun a lot of times that might be it or sometimes it's it's caused by um some vitamin deficiency i've heard that if you are vitamin b12 deficient like you are likely to have um dark spot around mouth area so try and uh, wear sunscreen every day and see if it, it helps if it doesn't help you might need to go to the doctor and um, find out what's really going on and another question is brightening body lotions I would recommend you would recommend start giving us full body routines that fights hyperpigmentation to be honest with you um, brightening body lotions all I can say about body care is that everything you are doing on your face you must do it on your body because uh, all you have to do is just find the products that work that has all the ingredients you use on your face to brighten up your 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 face and then find the products for the body so if you want to brighten up your face and you know brighten up your face you need the vitamin c you need the um, retinol you need hydration find products for the body that do the exact same thing that's how you would 
have a small brighter body skin about me giving you body skin care routine i'm still working on that and very soon i will upload a video about body skin care routine um the next question is what's the best product you would recommend for the glass skin um i really believe that when they say glass skin they are talking about smooth skin plump skin hydrated skin so the products you need to have that kind of glass skin like is like you need hydration hydrate your skin exfoliate your skin let your skin be smooth like exfoliate remove all the dead skin cells um, hydrate put vitamin C to brighten it up let it be plump like that's what you need really so, so you can have your glass skin like <laughs> okay another question is did you go to any dermatologist i did not the answer is no i did not go to any dermatologist everything that i've learned i've learned it myself i did a lot of research i had like try and failures like i've tried a lot of products those ones that did not work for me ones that bleached my skin and i came back and kept trying i kept trying until i found what worked for me and is still working for me so yeah that's what i did and i'm happy i'm so proud of myself for that <laughs> um the last question is about workout it's like a workout routine please and is cardio that important the workout routine i do is um i do work out with this uh, online personal trainer her name is sydney check out her youtube she's very very good i really love her workouts maybe because i can relate to her she's a mother so you know what when you're doing youtube um videos training with the trainers you know when they do it like you're sweating you're breathing like oh you cannot breathe and when you look at them their form uh their form is perfect they're not breathing out so they're not out of breath and everything and you're wondering like um what am i doing am i doing something wrong with sydney it's not like that you're like you're working out with her in real time when you're out of breath sydney is out of breath when you are sweating sydney is sweating when you are struggling sometimes she is struggling so i really love her workout so if try her out if you like her yeah that would be good for you and um the last question is like is cardio that important for me cardio i think is really important but it all depends on what you really want like what your goals are if you really want to lose weight you can just make cardio the most important thing in your workout routine like because cardio like sh shreds you up from head to toe like you lose weight anyhow but for me i use strength i lift i lift weights and i incorporate cardio but not too much because i don't want to lose weight i just want to build muscle and uh, lose fat so i can have my body as it is i like how it is but just be fit and be strong yeah that was all the question if you've made it to this point thank you so much thank you for watching this video make sure you subscribe you like you share it really helps me a lot and i'll see you in the next one